talk about something that has kind of been um, in my mindset. I'm the type of person that I am a giver. And the one thing that bothers me is that when people know that you're a giver, sometimes they like to take advantage of you. And I know that down through the years, there are certain characteristics that are identifiable to me of a person that will take advantage of you. And because I know that, it's almost like uh, an alarm that goes off every time I see those certain, you know, traits. Regardless, regardless, and this is the Taco Bell number one. It consists of Real Supreme and Taco Supreme. Plus, I have them add Cinnamon Twist. And I did have a four pack of Cinnamon Buns, but I ate them on the way. Which is typically what I do. Look, these are dimples right here or something. Isn't that cute? Anyways. As I was saying. I'm the type of person, say for instance, something as simple as eating. If I say I'm hungry, and I'll be like, you hungry, Jim? And you'd be like, yeah, let's go to McDonald's or something like that. I'm like, I don't really do McDonald's, but I can do McDonald's. But at the same time, if I'm going to eat good, I'm going to make sure you eat good. And if money is an issue, then immediately I'm like, don't worry about it. I think this is autofocus. I don't know. So for me, if money is an issue, I'll be like, don't worry about it. We're going to eat. Because if I'm traveling, I like to eat good regardless. So, I don't want somebody to jump in my car and then be like, yeah, this thing is auto focus. I don't know how to get that off. I don't want nobody to jump in my car and then be like, you hungry? I'm hungry. Let's go to Red Lobster. And I'd be like, even if I feel like Red Lobster or not, it's like, if I see a pattern that you're just wanting to eat and at my expense, that's, that, that bothers me. Or if you the type of person that kind of hints to certain things, like... Oh, I feel like a steak. Or 30 minutes ago, you're just telling me how broke you are, but then you'd be like, oh, I feel like a steak. Let's go out to eat. And I'm thinking, where are your priorities? Like, you know, it's little stuff that I noticed that, you know, when people are around people that give, they don't have a problem with taking. I have a problem with people always receiving and just taking advantage. I don't have a problem with giving. What I do have a problem with is giving to people that like to take advantage and then try to play the victim role. You see what I'm saying? Um... I have a problem with that. My thing is, it's hard for me to receive. I'll give, 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 but if you try to give me something, like let's say my daughter and I, we had a discussion a while back about gas. My daughters, they're my daughters, you know what I mean? Nine times out of 10, unless I really need gas or whatever, then I might bring something up. But other than that, people need to ride somewhere or whatever. I don't be looking at my tank, I just, you know, go. My daughter, sometimes she'll be like, you got gas money, you got gas money, you got gas money, you know what I mean? And that kind of eliminates the people that she picks up or hang out with or ride with her because they may or may not have gas. And I tell her, even if she do get gas, she got to be mindful of, you know, the places that she goes because she doesn't have a job to where she can automatically fill up the tank. You know what I mean? And so my thing is, say, for instance, people, they um, always want to use your car or whatever, but they don't fill up the tank. And then they get mad at you when you be like, hey, you can use my car, but I need you to fill up my tank or put gas in the tank. Then they get all mad and they'd be like, wait a minute, everything was fine until I asked you to put gas in my car because I'm tired of you coming back giving me my car back empty. I had those issues before. Or say, for instance, you know, I had an issue where somebody borrowed my car and they accidentally hit some little pole or whatever and they didn't think that they were responsible enough to fix the damage. Done. Ain't nobody borrowing my car no more. You ain't driving my car. Don't ask for this, that, and the other. I'm done. Especially when you get tired of always giving, 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 and then people take, 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 and then they end up abusing and taking your kindness for weakness and they feel like they're not obligated to do X, Y, Z. That's why I draw the line at. Or... Say, for instance, I travel a lot. So I have people, sometimes they be like, oh, um, well, I'll go, you know, with you or whatever. But um, they don't understand that sometimes I have to pay or sometimes me being a travel agent, I might not have to pay. And so when I book, like, say, for instance, this one group, they thought that they can get a travel agent discount. No, the travel agent discount is up to me. That's my discretion. So a lot of times discounts are not always available. But I'm not trying to hide nothing either. But at the same time, it's like if you making my world go upside down, I'm not going to provide you with discounts when you're just making my job that much difficult. And so they was like, well, you know, they'll go somewhere else or whatever the case may be. That's fine. 
that's fine. I'm not trying to hog it for everybody and trying to see what all I can get and how much money I can make. What I'm saying is, this day and age, you have a lot of people that are out trying to take advantage of people. You have homeless people. My aunt was saying that she um, bought this homeless person some food, and they flat out basically cussed her out. I was like, I don't want that. I want the money. Now, I have some people where I gave them some clothes. They were homeless. They went through the clothes that I gave them, kept what they wanted, and dumped the rest. I'm not saying that, you know, they took advantage, but at the same time, it's like, you know, a lot of times people, they know what they want and they, they're going to get whatever it is they want and what they don't want, they'll, you know, discard it and try to give it to somebody else. My thing is be mindful of who and what you lend your, your gifts to and also who you give to and don't be suckered into always giving, 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 because at the end of the day, you're nobody's bank of America. At the end of the day, is it good or is it God? If it's a good thing and it's not a God thing, then guess what? You up a creek. But if God has allowed you to bless that person with X, Y, Z, then go forward. But sometimes people want to guilt trip us into doing stuff or manipulating us into doing stuff. And that's not even cool because they know that you're a giver. They know that you probably got food stamps. They know you probably got your income tax. They know you probably got your lawsuit settlement. They know that you got paid on the 16th or you got paid today because tomorrow is Christmas. They know all this stuff. So they'd be like, man, my gas bill is due or, or, or I need to go take this trip and, or I need to go out to eat. I'm so stressed out or whatever. Understand and be mindful of the players of the game. When you understand the game, you understand the players, you understand the strategies, and you see how the game is played, and you make sure that you don't get played. Now, there are some people that are legitimately, you know, they're honest. They, you know, they cool. For me, I want people that rock, rock and roll with me, that if I have, they know I have, I'll share it. And if they have, I know they have, they'll share it, and vice versa. I want people to come into my home and feel comfortable with no strings attached. Whatever I got, you got. You know, but at the same time, don't think that everything that I got is yours, and you're out to take advantage of me, because God don't like